Great division title. Well, it seemed an eventuality that when the UFC launched its women's flyweight division that Valentina Shevchenko would rest atop of it, and that's exactly where she finds herself as she makes the walk here tonight. She knew that she would be the UFC flyweight champion. Even when her first title shot against Nico Montano fell through, she didn't moan, she didn't complain. She said, okay, sign me up somebody else so that I can go and win that title. So they said, okay, fight Ioana on Jacek. She went out there and defeated the most dominant strawweight champion in UFC history to get that title. She's a phenomenal striker, a great counterpuncher, and has a full, a full array of skills to try to finish fights. When you think you're gonna stand with her, just ask Juliana Pena. You end up on the ground getting submitted. She can beat you in a number of ways. Well, this belt has changed hands quite a bit, but not since it's been held down by this young woman, the reigning defending. Undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She has really set the standard for excellence at 135 pounds. Tonight, though, facing a number one contender that comes in with a lot of momentum. So if she can defend the belt yet again here tonight, it would really go a long way in stamping her legacy as one of the greatest Bantamweight fighters and champions of all time. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So two years, the gap in age, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of world it's reducing first fighting out of the blue corner this woman is a muay thai fighter holding a professional record of 23 wins four losses she stands five feet five inches tall weighing in at 125 pounds fighting out of ishkek kyrgyzstan presenting the challenger valentina bullet shevchenko And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 23 wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, John. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch them up, and we are underway. You ready? Inside the home of the New York Knicks, it is Madison Square Garden, and I think a lot of people remember when Conor McGregor and Eddie Alvarez ushered in this building as far as the UFC is concerned back in 2016. I mean, that place was insane when Conor McGregor became the UFC's double champion. From outside of the arena, they build up to the fight, to in the arena when Conor became the king. This was a great moment in the world's greatest arena. Look, the best fights in history have happened here. And on that night, Conor McGregor etched his name in stone. Pop 
big leg kick lands. Another clinch position. Stuffs the takedown. Well, you asked her on Thursday, how soon are you gonna shoot? Very early. Nice job getting the fight to the ground here in the early goal. Sometimes taking that shot too early can find, you can find yourself like Ben Askren. But she knew that she held a huge advantage. She implemented exactly what she wanted to do. And now she finds herself in a dominant top control position. Ben Askren not going to be too happy if he plays he EA Sports UFC 4. He won't be happy with his boy. <laughs> Oh, that's a good knee to the body, exactly what she needed. She blocked the punch. Nice combination there by Shevchenko, punctuates it with the kick, and if you're gonna stand and trade with Shevchenko, better tighten up that defense. Yeah, but that's usually what she does. She's very good at mixing it up and leaving you with a kick at the end. I think back to her fight with Holly Holm. I thought that was one of her greatest performances to date when she was landing those beautiful combinations and really dictating to Holly how the fight played out. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, so she lands yet another leg kick there. She's landed several in the round, and now you see the damage. It's obvious on the other side. I mean, look at the redness in the leg, the bruising, the welts on the leg Nasty. from those leg kicks. It's unbelievable to watch someone land that kick over and over again. But if it's working, why would you change it? Keep going to the well. Oh, she lands the punch there, really using her reach advantage in this one thus far. Powerful leg kick lands. Clean with the right hook. Big kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Strikes and now landed for Valentina Shevchenko. Again, back into this position. And they separate. Oh, that'll send your head sideways. Vicious uppercut. Nice head kick. Oh. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Beautiful punch. Educated jab right there from Jean Wei Li. This is a competitive division, but Wei Li gets the double leg takedown now. Oh, she's got the right hand going tonight, DC. She's in a great flow and she's throwing from her dominant side to land that great strike. Ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them oh. in combination, and making them all matter. Hey, 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 come on. Have a seat. Hey, don't allow her to just hit you like that. You got me? You got to protect yourself. Start throwing some shots back at him. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. 
If they're not going to check him, keep throwing the leg kick. All right, so round two is underway here. Both women have their moments in that first round. At times, it looked like they were feeling each other out. And there is a lot of mutual respect here, though. So maybe you thought the crowd got a little bit restless at times. Ultimately, these fighters are both elite. A lot of respect on both sides. We'll see if they get after it here to begin round two. Oh, pinpoint jab placement there. And a nice job to take advantage of her edge and reach. Just unable to quite find that range. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, that's an outstanding attempt with the kick there. Now we'll see if she can follow it up. So fast to the target. What a great job. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position for them. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? 38 total strikes have landed for Valentina Bulichevchenko. Not the most efficient performance, landing with 47% accuracy tonight against Wei Li Zhang. Good punch. It's a good right hand right there. Circling to her right. Well, you hate to be overly critical because she has landed some good shots, but really nothing in terms of combinations tonight. She's got to let it fly, man. She needs to let the combinations fly. She's got to find the confidence in knowing that all that repetition, all that work with her boxing coach is going to pay dividends inside of the octagon. Zhang's got the tie clinch. She's got a good one. Oh, and she connects there. Beautiful punch. Great punch, but what's next? What is she going to use? That's a good scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Trying to kick the leg out. All right, you're doing great. Way to hide that leg kick. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Changes her stance. Nice kick landed there by Shevchenko. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Nice stick to the body. Way to mix up the target. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Good stick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Whoa! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Oh. Pinpoint execution on that straight punch. She's got a reach advantage, and it was pretty obvious in that sequence there. Clinch. All right, so now she engages in the tie clinch, and of course, if you're fighting hands as the opponent, you leave everything else wide you open. You leave everything open as you will dig big, brutal knees to the body. Under a minute now to go. Outstanding kick there by Jean. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Just missed with that right hand. How good was that right hand? Beautiful connection by her there. Right down the pipe and right on the chin. Shevchenko's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, how did she get that knee to the head? Well done. Nice punch from over the top. Right back in the clinch. Look for the back hand to get very active.
Ten right, minutes like in the books. All right, let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC, and what a display of striking for her. Yeah, she did a fantastic job of finding her spot, putting herself in position where she was the one landing and really dictating the pace of the fight. She did a great job of mixing up everything to get in control. All right, so two pretty good previous rounds. Now another round is underway. Your thoughts on what we might see here over these five minutes? That one of these young ladies will really start to try and drive the point home that she is the better fighter. Oh, she blocks the punch. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on, making up for lost time here. Straight punch land. Oh, big knee! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Well, you gotta try to stay busy off of your back. She's doing it here. Nice punch. Shevchenko's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Oh, keeping busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strike on the ground. Look out for the hook. Just over three minutes to go. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Shevchenko. She can't take more of this. Come on now. Under three minutes remain in round three. Just reached the midway point of the fight. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Shevchenko. Ground and pound strike there now. All right, so the ground and pound strikes continue to land. She's not staying busy for the sake of it. She is doling out damage. She's landing a lot of punishing ground and pound. And this is going to really zap her opponent as they get back to the feet. Two minutes now to go in the round. While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Shevchenko. is squirming and this might be the beginning of the end the ground and pound strikes continue to land at will she's landing him over and over again she needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish she doesn't get excited and lose the position Nice strike on the ground for her. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Start raining those elbows. Start raining those 
Come on, keep busy, keep busy. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Seconds left. Zhang's eye really starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Man, she's got some good ground and pound and putting that part of her game to good use tonight. She's putting it to great use, just really damaging from the top position. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn. The round is over. The swelling on the fighter's eye is only getting worse. And at some point, I'm not even sure if the end swell is going to do anything. I mean, you have got to really think about fighter safety at this point in time. The eye is not shut. It is certainly moving in that direction. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Shevchenko gets caught with that punch. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Wow. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that was just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So, big, big knockout win for her here tonight. Well, that knockout win is useful for the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She lit up this arena here tonight, and you can be sure the celebration is on and will continue deep into the night. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 39 seconds of round number four. To play the winner by knockout I gotta give you credit, you sort of foresaw this result tonight. We have a new UFC Bantamweight champion. Congratulations, go out to her and her team. At some point, you're gonna listen to me. Ah. At some point, you're gonna take notice that I know what I'm talking about. I called it great fighter. You understand that she has a lot of ability, and tonight she put it on full display to become the champion of the world. You're hot right now. Too bad you're calling so. these fights, or you could bet on them. Oh, make some cash. Ah. EA Sports cash. And you're broke. Give me some game bucks. I want some game bucks. <laughs>